Hello, this is Inta Volkaru. We have created a new module, CRM Fields Access Permissions. This module is for restricting access um, or permissions to editing or viewing CRM fields in Bitrix24. So what exactly does this module do? Well, this module can, based on um, the chosen settings, hide or restrict editing of certain fields in deals or contacts for um, selected user groups. It can also hide the values of fields which aren't necessary for certain user groups. Um, after you have applied um, the changes to the module, um, user groups which were selected will still have access to general information about these deals or contacts, for instance, but they would not have um, access to sensitive information. For example, um, the total amount of um, a deal um, for contacts, it can be uh, the address or age of, of your clients. Um, why is this important? This is important because um, it allows you to make available only information uh, to make available only information which different groups of employees need for their work. So um, sensitive client information um, will only be made available to manager groups, for example. This way, you are maintaining confidentiality of your clients and at the same time employees see only what they need uh, to process to process deals so um, let's go right in to um, the module and i will show you how it works okay so um, right now i am signed into our demo bitrix 24 portal here I am signed in as initiator, who is an employee. He is part of uh, the employee user groups. Um, here I am also signed in as the general director, who is the admin on the same BG24 portal. Now remember that admins have all accesses, they have all permissions, so they can view, they can edit, make changes, and do whatever they like in the Bitrix24 portal. So let's start with contacts. Now for contacts, well, I can see all the information about uh, all the contacts here, uh, client path, date created, age, activities, and so on. Um, but what can I see when I am signed in as initiator? So let's go to contacts. Well, here I can also see this information, um, but can I edit this information? So here I can see um, the value age. Let's go to change. And let's say I want to change it to 56 click on save as we can see the value returns to um, the original value of 30 um, let's go back now to the um, admin and see if the admin has access to has permissions rather to edit this value okay let's click on change let's change this to 56 and save as we can see the um, new value that i put in has been saved here 56 and for this employee initiator um, when i refresh the page we can also see that it is reflected here so while um, one user group, which is the group of administrators, have both viewing and editing access, um, another group of employees have access to only view this field. Now, we can also um, deny this user group 
access to even viewing this information. So they cannot see it. How do we do this? We go to the back end of the module. Remember, we are working on contacts right now. So we scroll down to the age field. Here, age. At the moment, they have viewing permissions. So we remove those viewing permissions. Um, they also do not have editing permissions. And then we save the new settings. Let's check if it's saved. Yes, it's saved. So we go back to um, this user initiator. And now we can see that he doesn't have even viewing access to, to this field. Um, when we open the contact card itself, we cannot see any information about this field. Even if we try to select field from um, fields that are available in BG24, nothing, we cannot see it here. So that is how it works for contacts. Um, how does this uh, module work for deals? Now, remember that I said um, that for um, deals, uh, you might want to um, grant certain users or user groups permissions to change um, field values such as uh, the amount of a deal um, during the early stages of the deal. Uh, but when it gets to a stage such as invoice paid or uh, project in progress, um, you do not want any changes to be made to amount of currency of a deal. So you can um, configure this setting in the back end of our module. Now let's just see how this works. Um, we are still signed in as the user initiator. Let's go into this deal or AB cleaning services and just verify that um, in the beginning stages, we can change the amount and currency of a deal. So let's change this from 2899 to let's say $500. Let's change the deal stage document preparation and save. As we can see, the amount has been changed to $500. Okay, um, so now we want to restrict um, editing access for when this deal has gotten to the stage of invoice paid. Okay, so at the top here, we can see all the deal stages. And on the left, we can see all the available um, um, and, um, deal um, fields in, in uh, the BG24. So here we have invoice sent and invoice paid. So let's just start from invoice sent and amount. Okay, currently, um, all employees have access to edit and view. So um, what do we want to do? Let's um, remove editing permissions and um, let's remove editing and also viewing permissions for after the invoice has been paid. So what settings do we have? When the invoice has been sent, um, the employee who is working on the deal can view the deal amount and currency. Uh, but after that stage, they can neither view nor edit um, this value. So let's save and go back to initiator. Okay, so now we've been working on this deal or AB cleaning services. Let's continue with that. Okay, so um, let's um, change this um, amount and currency one more time. $500 to say 1,000 and save. Okay, it's reflected 1,000. 
now let's move on to the next stage which is invoice send okay invoice send and then now let's try to change the amount and deal currency well as we can see we no longer have um, editing permissions for this uh, field we still have viewing uh, permissions because that was what we set for invoice sent uh, so now let's move on to the next um, stage which is invoice pay okay here we can already see that uh, permission has been denied for uh, this employee even if we try to open the deal card we no longer have access to uh, deal amount or currency we no longer have any access try to select field from another section it is also not available here now why is this um, module great for deals um, it's great for deals because um, oftentimes deals require multiple employees handling them um, handling different stages um, the first stage can be clarifying project requirements um, then you move on to another employee who prepares and sends documents and then another employee who sends the invoices and so on and so forth um, you would want to hide um, information such as the the contact of the client um, this way you are protecting your client's database uh, you can also hide the monetary value of the deal like we showed when uh, the invoice has been paid you can also choose to hide um, uh, sensitive documentation from uh, certain employees we've created the module in such a way um, that so uh, <clears throat> how is this module sold um, we currently sell this module on a subscription basis uh, so you can subscribe monthly for uh, 2,000 rubles. Um, you can subscribe for three months, six months, or for one year. Um, you can simply go to intervolga.ru.com, um, which is our website, intervolga.ru.com, rather. And you uh, send us a message here. Uh, that you would like this module and we will contact you back. Um, Intervolgaru is a competent B324 integra integrator. We are um, the gold partners of B324, of Bitrix Incorporated rather. We are masters in implementation, customization, integration of B324 with other software. We will be glad to help you with uh, this or any other B324 related requests you may have. So please send us a message and thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.